Well, this uh, exciting delivery has made it way to uh, Dufftown here uh, with a card from Arthur saying, I know you'll enjoy this. Well, that's an understatement. I think this is a fascinating document. It's a series of articles that have lain virtually hidden for nigh on uh, the last hundred years. But there's such fascinating glimpses of the distilleries, recording some of the old distilleries that were in Barnard, and also the Boomtown distilleries that came afterwards, which Barnard obviously didn't record. But there are also over 600 photos, graphic images in here. Some of them very clear. You can read uh, the stencils on the casks. Uh, you can read the descriptors of the equipment on it. But fascinating images. Also to see the lost distilleries, Glencorda, Parkmore, Towie Moore, just to name a few. Boomtown distilleries that, that didn't see it through to the modern era. Also, some things that uh, will cause discussion. Uh, some things may turn things that what we understood of the era is slightly different. This is something that uh, I thoroughly recommend to everybody. If you're interested in distilling the history of it, a fantastic addition to the library. I'm so delighted that this book has finally been published after all the hard work by the editors and publishers. It's a landmark publication, a description of distilleries in Scotland and Ireland in the 1920s, comparable to Alfred Barnard's work published in 1887. But when Barnard wrote, he was describing distilleries on the up, a whiskey industry on the up. This book describes distilleries on their uppers and a whiskey industry in very parlous state as well. And the distilleries described in it are captured in aspect because those that survived didn't change until the late 1950s and early 19. 60s when their Victorian interiors were transformed to make whiskey for the, for the boom that was following the Second World War. It, it really is a remarkable book and a truly remarkable achievement.